Uh, <laughs> practice seven, uh, day, day seven down. So we're almost halfway. Uh, you know, man, like anything at this point, saw some good, some bad, saw a lot of teachable moments. Uh, D. Baker really stepped up in pass protection today. I'm so proud of him because he's a young man that's not shown to be a tough guy. And uh, this game is for tough guys. It's just the way it is. And he was a tough guy today. And y'all know once you prove to yourself you can be a tough guy, then uh, then you've kind of crossed a hurdle. And we tell our young men, man, hey, being a tough guy, that's not going to a bar and winning a bar fight. That's not what toughness is. Toughness is can you wake up on a bad day when adversity has hit you and can you still handle your responsibilities and your obligations for everybody that's counting on you? He did that today. I thought the Quan Bailey Brown did the same thing. Uh, you know, I thought Nate Brooks did some of those things today. Uh, J.D. Rutherford and Tyler Barnes are two young men in the secondary that continue to get their hands on the ball and make plays, and that was good to see. Uh, uh, Antavius Willis made a few guys miss today at running back. And, uh, you know, so those are a few guys that, uh, that I saw do some things uh, off the top of my head coming off the field. Uh, how is the transit? I know he's no stranger really to running back. I know he played quarterback in high school. But how would you say the transition – for Willis to, to uh, running back is gone. It's from a talent standpoint, he's a natural. You know, he was basically a wildcat quarterback in high school. He's got great shiftiness and ability to make you miss. He's obviously got good hands. Uh, he just is having to learn pass protections and all the nuances of this offense because this is a very, very, very high level offense. We got a lot of tools in the toolbox. We got a ton of protections, a ton of protection checks and run checks and all that. So he's learning way more than just lining up and running a route. But from a talent standpoint, he's got it, and he's got the want to, right? He was coached by Bernard Ewell in and, and, and high school, and anybody that knows Bernard, you know, one of probably the greatest player to ever play at Forest Hill, I mean, at uh, Jim Hill High School. So uh, he, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a good fellow. Coach, after y'all got to watch the uh, video of Saturday scrimmage, were there any additional takeaways? Uh, any additional takeaways from the scrimmage? Yeah, uh, after you got to watch the video. Man, I have to think, Glenn, you know me, man. I move on with life fast. Uh, yes, let's see. That seems like a year ago now. I, I just thought there was some physicalness to it. I thought offensively, uh, you know, execution was very poor, which led to a lot of bad football. Now, I thought our defense capitalized on that. I think we're flying around defensively. I can't say enough about the job. Coach Armstrong's done getting our defensive kids here back bought in to what real Southern Miss football is with playing nasty bunch style. We're tremendous at matching patterns right now. Uh, and and we've got some really good schemes and we're playing really hard. I thought offensively we cleaned up the execution today, which led to more realistic football on the field. And I uh, hope that we can continue to do that. Coach Hall, uh, just ask this question. Right now, after, you know, a couple of weeks of spring ball, what would you uh, say is are the differences between uh, Webb and Lowe at quarterback? What what are, like, one strength as compared to the other, or what's the difference in their style? Uh, Trey's an older guy that's already got a college degree. You know, uh, you know, Heath, think about you when you were 22 compared to 19. You know what I mean? How much wisdom comes just in life over that three-year time period? You know what I mean? Lord knows. I did I did stupid stuff when I was 22, but I really did when I was 19. You know, and uh, T, T's a young man that's learning. He's growing in this offense. He continues to get more assertive and play with more urgency. He's really talented. He had his best day in the scrimmage on Saturday. He had another really nice day today. Trey's a little older, more mature, and a little more confident because of wisdom and experience, right? And uh, but they, they they both they both throw a nice ball, uh, and and they're really uh, doing a great job leading, and, and and I think they both got a chance to be really good football players. Uh, having Frank Gore Jr. for a few practices now, and kind of getting uh, to see him up up front. I know he maybe there's one or two days where he was limited, but what impression has he left on you? Well, Frank loves football. Frank's a smiler, uh, which I like. So he's a happy guy that impacts people in a positive way. And, like, he really loves football. Like, he loves the finer parts of football. 
Uh, he loves football about as much as I do. Like, he really loves it. He loves studying it. He loves all the schemes. He loves pass pro. Uh, you know, Frank's just a young man that's got to get healthy. You know, over the, he's only been here a year, but he's, he's been a guy that's been consistently banged up, and he's battling. Uh, you know, and he's practicing right now, banged up. And uh, he's, but, but, but he's got to keep doing that. And uh, he's extremely talented. The first guy very rarely tackles him. Uh, I think Hayes is going to talk here in a minute. He'll tell you, I mean, he's a tough guy to him up in a one on one situation. So uh, we're glad he's on our team. Coach, how would you rate your knowledge of Mississippi high school football against uh, uh, some of the other? I mean, it seems like every time you talk about a guy, you're talking. Uh, you're talking about their coach who played at such and such high school. Uh, would you say you've developed encyclopedic knowledge of uh, Mississippi high school football? Well, that's just what I did, right, Patrick? Everybody knows how I grew up. I mean, I just grew up studying it, and that's what I loved. And God didn't give me much, man. I'm five seven. I'm fat. I'm not very fast, but but I can remember things. I've got a decent I've got a decent memory on me, so I've been able to to keep that going for a while. Hey, guys, once again, I appreciate you. Got a young man coming up that I got the utmost respect for, Hayes Maples. He brings it every day. Glenn, Heath, Patrick, if we attack life on a daily basis like this sucker attacks life, we'd all be better men. Appreciate you guys, man.